I like this. Man, these things are nice. So I've been using this computer for over a year now, and I just discovered this. Check this out. Oh. It's a disc player, a CD player. I never knew that this was here. Isn't that awesome? And then you just push it back in, and it just kind of sits there. Oh, also, it's touch screen. Didn't know that either. Awesome. Uh-oh, my computer will not boot. No matter what I do, I've tried moving the M.2s around to different slots. I've tried different SATA cables. Just nothing will work. It refuses to boot. It will not boot. See, I keep getting this problem. And then when it does find a hard drive, see unfortunately there's an OS on this one as well. So it'll find this OS, look it just shut itself off, now it's restarting. Um, I was going to take this thing apart anyway because this was going to be my main driver for the rest and I needed to put the drives in that system to get it to go. Uh, but look at that, see look now I'm getting this crap. ROM images not loaded. ROM images update denied. I have no idea what happened or anything. No idea what's going on. Um, see, like if I go to this, look, see that? No NVM device found. That's odd because there's one in there, but it's it's not showing it. And then if I go down to the boot, see? Oh, okay. So now it's showing me. Now it's showing me two boot options. Before it was only showing me one. SATA SSD or SSD P3 window. Uh, let's see if I can open these up. That's not what I want. I want that M.2 to show. I don't know what happened. Just all of a sudden it uh it did this. It was just like, yeah, nope, not gonna work for you. There was a, a burning smell, I hate to say that, there was a burning smell in it. Um, if I have to decommission this computer, I will. If I got a decommissioner, I will. I planned on it anyway, to doing it anyway. Um, I just just didn't have the time to, to take it apart. Okay, so now it wants to do this crap. Alright, so I guess what I'm going to try to do is clear the CMOS. Um, the other problem that I've been having is, see this vertical GPU? Uh, every time I want to mess with something, I got to remove that. So I think what I'm going to do for testing purposes is I'm going to just remove the vertical GPU bracket and just plug the graphics card in normally. Um, so that way it'll be easier for me to get in and out to the M.2 drives. Because um, I don't know what's going on. Plus, I can't get to the, to the CMOS battery because it's underneath that graphics card so yeah great now I get to tear apart my baby oh man this sucks so the best way to clear CMOS is very simple and very easy first thing you need to do is unplug the power cord from the computer you don't want any power running to the system and I don't mean by just walking over there and flipping the back switch. No. You have to physically unpull the power plug. No power to the system. Then you need to locate this thing. This is your CMOS battery. You need to locate it. Once you locate it, there's a little metal tab right here. See that metal tab right there? You push that in like that and your battery will come right out point just like that okay now when you pull this battery out you need to leave it out for five minutes 
I'd say a minute to three, three to four minutes, somewhere around there. Just leave it out for five minutes. What you just did is you pulled the battery out. And what that battery does is it powers a small little memory module in the motherboard that saves a special list of instructions. Basically, it tells the board how to boot, what sequence needs to do what, you know, it's all of the instructions, the very basic instructions is what you're trying to clear out. This will solve like 90% of all of your issues. If you're having a, a, a software issue, you're not loading in, Windows is crashing, something's wrong, frames are dying, I don't know, just not getting no getting no operations or getting no OS detections or getting no programs clear CMOS it's the best way to do it so and then you just you pop it back in the best way to do it is put it inside make sure the top is facing up and you just push it in like that and you can get these at Walgreens. Um, these batteries do die. So if you think that maybe the battery's dead, you can pick these up at Walmarts. They're, uh, they're usually labeled on them. CR20032. That's a very standard battery. 2032. Um, you'll find that anywhere. Walmart has them. Walgreens has them. All kinds of places have them. But anyway, that, guys, is how you clear sea moss so I hope you guys like that alright back to the video alright so I finally got the problem solved uh, I cleared the sea moss in the computer and then I had to re-enable re my boot drive into a certain priority so I had to say that the MBV drive went first and then the SSD went second finally got the boot I lost all of my minecraft everything is gone I had to re-download and re-buy Minecraft. So I lost my world, everything that I've worked on for over a year. Um, I don't know, I guess I needed the seed number or something like that, but I never knew any of that, but I do now. But anyway, the computer actually works. Um, I need to reinstall the vertical GPU bracket, so that way I can get that graphics card sitting back in there, fan facing you this way. Um, although, I am considering just tearing out the drives and putting the drives into this computer which is something that I need to do anyway uh, anyway I just needed to make a video for you guys how to clear your CMOS and yep this damn thing wouldn't turn on for me I was running in all kinds of problems what is that oh it's a piece of foam I wonder what that came out of I don't know all right, make sure to leave a like, guys. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next one. So I have tore this thing apart. I have switched the M.2 drives out. I've switched hard drives out. I've switched SATA cables. I've tried resetting the CMOS. I've replaced the battery, the actual CMOS battery. Tried different graphics cards. Tried different BIOS updates. Tried different this. Um, I finally got the stupid thing to recognize that there was an M.2 drive in it. So then I set the boot priority correct to the way I originally had it. M.2 drive kicks in first, and then the SATA drive is all the extra backup files and shit. But the boot drive is the M.2 drive. Well, after resetting the PC, trying to fix it, going back to a, like, a, a refresh point, um, I don't know man this this thing is I don't know what happened I just came in one day and pushed the button and then it just like it flickered and it went out uh, and there was a point there where I couldn't even get the uh, hello Titan rig there was a point there where I couldn't even get it to boot or even to recognize that there was any drives in it well now I'm actually getting it to recognize drives and before we couldn't get this reset to work it just kept arrowing out it would just give us the blue screen um, we're at 27 percent I'm gonna let this keep going hopefully it'll repair uh, once it does this um, 
you know, I was thinking about it. This motherboard is a used, broke motherboard that I bought from Micro Center um, a while ago. I bought it broke, which I made a video about it, and I made a video about me fixing it. Uh, it's called the Ors H370 motherboard video that I did. All the pins in it were busted, um, the RAM module slot was kind of bent, and I fixed all those things. And it's been working great for over a year and then all of a sudden no bueno I mean look at the mess I've made all the wires and cables that are everywhere I it was driving me nuts dude I would try everything make sure see if the cable was good see if this cable was good it's just you know when when everything is plugged in and everything is is how it should be but yet nothing is working you kind of get desperate and you start you know doing the dumbest little things to see if that will help or change and clearing the CMOS seemed to be the the most effective which is what I knew I should have done from the beginning Clear a CMOS on a computer because that is extremely important um, especially since clearing the CMOS after everything I did on this computer uh, clearing the CMOS was the most effective and that I knew I should have done that first, but I wanted to basically see a couple other things. Uh, see, there's our hard drive laying on the ground after I got done mirroring it. Yeah, I even took the hard drive and mirrored it to another hard drive to see if, uh, if that was the issue with it. Uh, so what are you guys up to? How's everybody doing? All 8 to 22 people that have been watching my videos. My views are going down. My subscription counts going up, but my views are going down. I don't get that one. Okay, so it took me back to a very plain, basic version of the computer before the accident. So I'm going to pull up the event logger real quick, and we're going to see exactly what took place. <laughs> 